I suppose it's time I do an update on the 1960 Caddy Coupe de Ville. Here it is. I shined all the chrome up. Looks really nice now. Still have to get a lot of the trim on. I just don't have like the little screws. Um, we still are missing the strap for the gas tank. But yesterday we just got a parts car in. So we should have all the parts we need. Here I got a dash pad for it. Front seat cover. Back seat is... Okay, I mean, it's fine to sit in. Um, still took all the headliner out because I was shot. So I need that. Got the steering wheel on, chrome in there. Radio works. Got to put the glove box door on. Now I got to lay something down the floors for carpeting. Here it is. No rust. Sat in a garage for 30 years. It was owned by the guy who used to, the original owner of the Esco Speedway in Esco, Minnesota. I'd like to find maybe pictures of the old raceway and see if there's any pictures of the car sitting on front. I think that would be kind of cool to see. Well, here's what we got yesterday it's 1960 Coupe de Ville. Engine transmission are taken out of it. It was brought to a repair shop um, in 1973 for for detailing of the engine. They took the whole engine out and transmission to detail under the hood. And let's see if I can get this open. To detail everything under the hood, and the guy never showed up to pick up the car. It was in very nice shape when it was parked. Like I said. It was just going in for detailing under the hood. And instead, the guy never came up, showed up to pick it up again. And it sat in the mud since 1973 till yesterday. It's rusty. Fender skirts. I have the fender skirts in the car. Interior is totally shot. Rats have been living in it. You can just see how bad this is. It smells like once it gets warm in here, it smells like pneumonia in here from all the rat piss. Have all the parts I need. This thing has cruise control, which I'm going to take out and put into ours to the good one. Doors don't lock for some reason. Just got to get them closed as best I can. There we go. Has all the chrome, all that rust. Here's a skeleton of one of the rats I found in it. I don't have the key to the trunk. I'm gonna have to go through the back seat to, to see what's in there. So, who knows, there could be bodies in there for all I know. Here's more rust. This was the side that was sitting into like bushes and just like sinking into the mud really bad. Just totally rusted. But the guy who we got it from, he's bringing up the engine Tuesday, so we should have that. And then once I get my Corvair finished, which I got running and everything now, got the new engine in it. Um, get that out there, park it on the overhang. Finish the floorboards, and then this will go in its spot. And I'll probably try dropping the engine into this. I have a cool beater, and it's really just a diagram for the other one because we have, so we can see how it goes together. <laughs> and then the other main parts, like this, I have no clue how to get together. I think I have like the wrong ones. Yeah, I totally do. I'm gonna have to take these off. Alright, well, thanks, bye.